using the thumb is very different to using the fingers. The fingers have to defy gravity, they have to sort of climb up to the palm. Um, we have to actually exert energy. Uh, the thumb, however, is dropping to the ground. Um, and we have to use this to our advantage. We don't have to use as much energy when we're using our thumb. The thumb has a hugely powerful stroke. We don't have to make a lot of effort to make a strong, clean sound. Um, and that's because the thumb starts its movement within the hand, almost at the wrist, unlike the fingers which start at the, at the big knuckle. Um, so we need to keep the thumb well out of the way of the fingers, well to the left. We don't want the thumb playing into the hand or actually the fingers getting in the way. So well to the left um, and we place it on the string and we just allow gravity. We just let it drop down. Uh, we don't have a big effort and really push it. We don't need to do that. We literally, as relaxed as possible, let it drop. Okay, so this is how we, we start the stroke. This is how we learn to use the thumb. And you might think it's like micro-managing the thumb movement, but it's very important not to use energy where it's not necessary. We don't need to exert any energy here. So just nice, gently, it's on the string, we let it drop without any effort at all. So a very simple exercise, we can place it on the sixth string, resting the fingers, perhaps on the third string. Um, so just thumb, drop, plant it, drop. So one for the plant, two for the drop, three for the plant, four for the drop, one, string and the movement as you come back to the string is sort of like in a semicircle you don't come straight back up to hit the string so it's got to miss the strings in a semicircle can you see that it comes round like that not straight up so down so down and then around back on down and then around and all the time thinking, relaxed, don't grip, don't push, relax. we don't need to, it's a really powerful stroke anyway. Thank you.